guys, my name is Megan and today I've got my January wrap up for you. My January reading has not quite gotten off to what I would have hoped. So my goal for January was pretty decently sized chunk books, but I have not gotten through them like I thought I would. Um, so the first book that I read in January was That Ain't Witchcraft. So I think I talked about this in my December wrap up. I was reading this over Christmas and then I got cold and then I did not have a whole lot of time to dedicate to reading this book. So finished it in January. It took a lot longer than I thought it would because it was a lot bigger than I thought it was. Um, overall, I really, really enjoyed this book. It was so good. I love Annie and all the like crazy adventures she gets into in this book. So this is book eight in the Encrypted series and I just, I love that Annie kind of found, she kind of like adopted like a new brother for herself and I just kind of love that found family trope and I just really love the adventures in this. So this one I gave a four and a half out of five stars. Also attached to this book is the short story The Measure of a Monster which was really really awesome. We got to revisit some of my favorite characters Alex and Shelby and Sarah and I really love getting to you know go back and see what these characters are doing because they were some of my favorites and I really am so excited to see more short stories involving them in the future. So the short story I gave a solid four to five stars and I really really enjoyed it. I loved the adventures that pretty much all the characters into this get into because they're kind of crazy and it you know involves cryptid creatures and it's just really fun. So that was a nice two for one right there. So the next book that I finished in January is Sky in the Deep. This one was kind of really unexpected for me. It was so, so good. I really liked this Enemies to Lovers with Elin and Fisk. I, really, I just love them to pieces. I also really like the found family aspect of this. I also really like pretty much everything about this. I love the Vikings. I love the culture. I loved the, you know, these two complete enemy tribes of Vikings coming together to defeat a common enemy. I just really liked that. I did not expect to like this book as much as I did. It was really, truly fantastic. So this one got a solid five out of five stars. It was just so, so good. And I don't know why I waited so long to read this. This came in an owl crate box last year or no, two years ago, 2018. It's been a while. Also first five star book of the year. So that's pretty awesome. So now onto the books that I'm currently reading. So I'm currently reading Artemis as well as my comic book for this month, which is uh, Teen Titans volume one in the new 52 version of DC. I'm gonna talk about Artemis real quick. I'm really, really loving this setting. I love Jazz. She's a great character. I love like all of the politics and the underhandedness that goes along with this living in on the moon. I just really, really love it. It's so interesting and like the huge gap between the rich and the poor is really interesting and I can't wait to finish this book. Now onto the Teen Titans. I'm kind of shocked that I'm really, really liking this so far because I've heard a lot of not so great things about this iteration of the DC universe and in particular this version of Tim Drake. But you know what? As I'm reading this, I'm finding that Tim is just as dorky as ever and he's such a nerd and I really do like it so far. I'm probably eh, 40 pages in or so. Um, I really like Tim's personality so far. I really like all of the other Teen Titans that I've met in this comic so far and I can't wait to see where this goes. So the last two books that I had planned to read in January were The Serpent Shadow and Novice and I'm probably not going to get to either of these this month. So I'm going to push these back until maybe May. My plans for February through April were reading already. So these ones will probably have to be pushed back to summer. All right. So that's everything that I read in January. What was your guys' favorite book from the month? My favorite, I think, would have to be Sky in the Deep because that book was just fantastic. Also, how are you guys doing with your reading goals so far? I feel like I'm just slightly behind, but uh, you know, we'll see how that goes throughout the rest of the year. So, so let me know down in a comment below. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You can also hit the notification button. And if you'd like to follow me on social media for more bookish content, check out the links down below. Alrighty, bye guys.